I got bitten by a duck once. <laughs> Is that the smoothest segue you ever heard in your life? Oh, shit. We're like, wow, we're talking about ducks. I didn't even notice the transition. I got bitten by a duck. I hate ducks now. I hate all. I'm prejudiced against all ducks because of that one little asshole that bit me. I think they're all cranky little assholes. Has anyone else ever been bitten by a duck? I'll bet. Yeah, did you get bitten by a duck? Anyone else? Yeah. See. Everywhere, they're all biting. Did you get? Did you provoke the duck in any way? Twice. Did you provoke the duck in any way? You just feeding it or something? Yeah. Little, yeah. Here's some food. Ow! Little assholes. I was in it. I was at a petting zoo, petting the duck, very softly on his head, and he bit me, and I'm pissed off, right? I'm like, hello, excuse me, petting zoo. Hello. <laughs> Do you know where you work, asshole? <laughs> Check your job description. Here's my fucking ticket, all right? It says you take a petting and shut up about it. That's your day. If you don't like it, get out of here, right? There's, there's no roof. You got wings. Fuck off. You stay for the free food, don't you? Well, it's not free. You got to take a little of that. Asshole. Yeah, really piss me off. And I was offended, right? He's like, he's insulting my masculinity, right? Because if he's going to bite me, he must think he can take me. <laughs> well, because you don't make the first move unless you think you can follow up, right? So that duck's got to be going, yeah, I can take that guy. <laughs> I'm insulted, right? I'm the, first, I'm the first one to admit I'm not a tough guy at all. But, dude, I can take any duck. Come on, man. What do you do? Why don't you go get five of your duck friends and come on back, asshole? <laughs> I'll be right here. I'll make a pillow out of you. That's what I'll do. Get a good night's rest tonight with my head on your cushy ass! Like, I wouldn't bite a bear. Duh! I'd get my ass kicked, right? Maybe if it was already mauling me to death. Not if he just come up and started petting me. Hello! Hi there! I'm not gonna go, ah! He'll kick my fucking ass, that's why. I know a bear could kick my ass. Pretty much anything but a duck. I'm not a tough guy. Any tough guys here? Tough guys in the house? There might be, but they would just answer that question like this. Definitely look at you, don't know. You know what I mean by tough guys, though? Guys who are like always getting into fights, always scrap. I used to have these buddies of mine that every weekend they would get into a scrap, and it's like, how can you get into a fight every weekend and I never do, right? It's like, because they're always thinking about it. Always thinking about scrapping. Like every decision they make in life, they have to factor scrapping into that decision somehow, right? <laughs> right? Like the guy's buying a pair of pants in a store or something, and he's like, oh, these pants fit nice. I like that color there. Could I kick a guy in the head with these? <laughs> Better test them out, make sure I can go uptown. <laughs> and now you know how tough I am from how I kick. <laughs> That's what you got coming at you if you piss me off. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got some of that? Come and get some, fuck off. <laughs> That was my big move in high school. Fuck off! I'll tell. I'm not afraid to tell. I could never be a tough guy. I've accepted that my whole life. I'm a skinny guy, you know, and it was even worse back in high school, I was scrawny. That's different. Skinny's when you're a very thin person. Scrawny's when you're a very thin person and people beat you up a lot. <laughs> and I was a rocker dude too, so I had like really long hair all the way down to my ass. And oh my god, if you're a skinny guy and you want to make yourself look even better, <laughs> grow the hair down to your ass. That's what you do. That's... And wear skin tight blue jeans. That's the look for you. Skinny man. Look good, buddy. That was my look. What high school? Is that what you said? Streetsville. Streetsville. Streetsville, what? <laughs> Why'd you ask if you don't know every single high school in the land? You said you know Mississauga? Mm-hmm. What, did you go there? Did you beat me up? Five years.
you would have friends. <laughs> Good night's rest tonight. <laughs> scrawny little bit. And you're sitting up for the bullies when you look like that. Like, there's no way to fake your toughness when you're like that skinny, right? If the big guy was going to beat me up, I couldn't go, yeah, but you don't know what I know, buddy. <laughs> I envy the blowfish. I should explain that a bit more. <laughs> There wasn't enough information. <laughs> the blowfish is like a windy little fish, right? But it, when it's threatened, it has this mechanism. It can blow itself up and look really huge suddenly and scare away its intruder with its sudden massive size. I have no such mechanism. <laughs> the best thing I could do if some guy were to threaten me is trying to accentuate my tallness as much as possible. You know, sort of... <laughs> That wouldn't work, though. That would just be farther for me to fall to the ground. That's what I would do. You know what does work, though? I can't believe this. I fluked this one night. I was in a bar, and uh, it was very crowded, and I bumped elbows with this guy, and he spilled a bit of beer on his favorite new shirt, I guess, right? And uh, he just came at me, this big goon of a guy. It was very crowded. You couldn't help it, right? And I bumped his elbows with beer on his shirt. He said, you asshole, look like jerk. He just like, came at me, and there was no getting out of a fight. He was coming at me. And I'm not a fighter, I didn't know how to deal with it, and so for some reason, just this weird instinct, I hissed at him. <laughs> As he came at me, I just went, <laughs> okay. He fucked off. He took off. He did not want to mess with the Cobra Man, right? That's how that works. He does not understand the Cobra Man. Therefore, he fears the Cobra Man. That's how that works, baby. You should try that. Give that a go. It doesn't have to be like a fight. You can just be like in a restaurant. You got some snooty ass waiter pissing you off. You know, you're like, you know, I ordered my food quite a while ago. Is my food ready? Well, you know, sir, you're not my only table. I have 11 customers. The food is on its way, baby. That waiter's in the back kitchen recruiting help from the other staff right about now. Just leave your section for a minute. I have a Cobra man. <laughs> yes, he's angry. He's hissing. <laughs> give that a go. I'll give you the tip, though, if you're going to try that. It's because I'm, I'm particularly good at it. If you're going to make that noise, do it quietly. Way scarier. Right? Trust me, this is, this is very scary. <laughs> That's scary enough. This is way scarier. <laughs> <laughs>